Are you looking to buy a home in 2022? Well, I am sure you've heard that the inventory of homes for sale is low. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? Hi, this is Chris Lotz with the Pat Lotz Real Estate Group and Real Estate One. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all our new content. As a buyer, low supply and high demand is the perfect recipe for a competitive market. What does a competitive market look like? Squeezing in for showings, homes selling fast, and multiple offer situations. In a statement from Realtor.com, they said, homes also flew off the market at a record pace. As buyers put in offers, the moment properties came in for sale. When it comes to multiple offers and bidding wars, doing everything you can to make your offer stand out and above the competition is crucial. Especially since you know that in this market, it will be going up against other strong offers and buyers. According to National Association of Realtors, homes today are receiving an average of 3.9 offers. That's the most offers we've had in early months of the year over the last five years. So what exactly do you do to navigate bidding wars? Well, first and foremost, having a real estate agent is crucial for guidance, negotiations, and expertise. But here are three additional tips to keep in mind that you can help you when trying to navigate this crazy seller's market. Number one, know your numbers. Knowing what your budget is and what you can afford is critical in your success as a home buyer. The best and really only way to do this is hire a lender and a local one at that. Not only does having a local lender in your back pocket help you better understand your financial situation, but when submitting an offer on a home, sellers and selling agents love to see local names, especially when it comes for time for appraisals. Presenting an offer with a strong pre-approval and lender support gives you a competitive edge in such a tight market. Number two, be ready to move fast. Speed and the pace of sales are contributing factors to today's competitive housing market. With homes selling at the rate they are, it is crucial to be able to make time to get into homes as they come on the market. Being prepared in other aspects, such as point number one in having a lender, also allows you to make quick decisions from a financial perspective. If you aren't looking to move quickly or aren't ready to compete, then this probably isn't the right time for you to be buying a home. Lastly, number three, make a strong but fair offer. When competing against other offers, start with putting your best foot forward. Be sure to lean on your agent for advice on which levers you can pull to make your offer as enticing as possible. There are contingencies you can add or take away, concessions, occupancy, and more. But what is most important that is that you don't stretch yourself too thin. After all, buying a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your lifetime. So be prepared to put your money where your mouth is, but all the while staying within your financial comfort zone. The bottom line here and most important thing to remember is stay patient. Very few times, even when we are not in a seller's market, you probably won't buy the first home you see, and that's okay. Sometimes you just need to get your feet wet in this competitive market to know just what it takes to beat out the competition. If you're ready to connect and kick off a successful home search, please reach out to me anytime. Even if you just have questions, this is Chris Lotz with the Pat Lotz Real Estate Group and Real Estate One. Live local, buy local, use local, and as always, there's lots to love in Livingston County. Thanks for watching. Make sure to use those like, comment, and share buttons below. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pat Lots Real Estate for more helpful home buying and selling tips. Want a free comparable market analysis? Scan that QR code on your screen or visit our website at www.patlots.com and fill out the request form. There's lots to love in Livingston County.